The blessings of Ramadan The blessings of Ramadan The blessings of Ramadan Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidil Mursaleen Amma ba'd fa'a'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Salatu wa salamu alayki ya Rasulullah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habib Allah Salatu wa salamu alayki ya Nabi Allah Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nur Allah Sallallahu ta'ala Ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The essence and soul of our lives The comfort and coolness of our eyes the one in whom our hope of salvation lies. The one who journeyed through the seven skies. The one whose face is more beautiful than the sunrise. The owner and distributor of paradise. Our Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There are many, many benefits of reciting through the Pak of Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today we want a quick fix. We want an easy solution to our problems. We want to put in little effort but get maximum reward. Well, there is one investment that we can do where a little effort gets you amazing rewards, magnificent rewards. And that is the Buddha Park. This is a cure to all your problems. This is the solution to all your difficulties. If you make it a habit of reciting the Buddha Park for Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you get so many blessings and benefits that they are immeasurable and innumerable. Amazing. Now today we're going to go through some of the blessings and barakats and benefits of reciting through the park. How would you like it that wherever you went, the mercy of Allah descended upon you? Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever recites through the park upon me one time, Allah sends ten mercies upon him. So if you continuously recite through the park, mercies continue to descend upon you. Then, how would you like it that on the day of judgment, on that very difficult day, when everybody is terrified, you are close to the best of creation, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Your life would be blissful on that day. Listen to this hadith in Barakah. The person closest to me on the day of judgment will be the one who has recited through the park upon me abundantly in this world. Subhanallah. Then, the next hadith in Barakah. Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever recites salat upon me once, Allah Azza wa Jal sends ten mercies upon him, forgives ten of his sins, and elevates his rank ten times. Subhanallah. Then, whoever recites salat upon me one time, Allah Azza wa Jal sends ten mercies upon him. Whoever recites salat upon me ten times, Allah Azza wa Jal sends one hundred mercies and blessings upon him. And whoever recites salat upon me one hundred times, Allah Azza wa Jal will write between his eyes that he is free from hypocrisy and the fire of hell. And on the day of judgment, Allah Azzawajal will keep him with the martyrs. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Then, how would you like it if on the plains of resurrection, everybody's there, and you get the honor and the privilege of shaking hands with Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Listen to this hadith in Mubarakah. Whoever recites through the park upon me 50 times a day, I will shake hands with him on the day of judgment. Subhanallah. How would you like to see the palaces of Jannah while you're still alive on the earth. Amazing. Doesn't happen normally, but Dhru De Pak can make it happen. Listen to this hadith in Barakah. Whoever recites Dhru De Pak upon me 1,000 times a day, he will not die until he sees his place in Jannah. Now, reciting Dhru De Pak 1,000 times a day won't take longer than, say, 10 minutes. But you can see the palaces of Jannah before you depart from this world. SubhanAllah. Then, Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever recites through the park for me three times in a day and three times at night, showing devotion and affection towards me, it is upon the mercy of Allah Zajjal to forgive the sins he committed during the day and the night. Subhanallah, subhanallah. And uh, the other one, amazing. Today, we're in the era of mobile phones. So I can ring, pick up the phone and ring somebody in Medina to Manubra. They can hear me, I can hear them. Well, look at this beautiful hadith in Mubarak Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave you. Recite salat upon me wherever you are as your salat reaches me. Our Kareem Aqa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hears our durood or salam and prays in the court of Allah sallallahu for our forgiveness, subhanallah. So wherever you are, always read durood or salam with the knowledge that my beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is listening to our durood Then Aqa Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Undoubtedly, 
your names along with your identities are presented before me. Therefore, recite excellent Dhruv Park upon me in the most beautiful words, subhanAllah. So decorate your Dhruv Park. Read it with a beautiful tone, a beautiful melody. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Read it eloquently, knowing that the below is presented in the court of the beloved Habib. And Haka Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be happy. And if Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is happy at receiving your beautiful Dhruv Park, then all your difficulties, worries and anxieties will disappear. SubhanAllah. Then, in another beautiful hadith of Barakah, Hazrat Sayyidina Ubay bin Kaab says that I said humbly in the court of the best of creation, وسلم, if I give up all my orad or zaif and devote all my time to reading through the park upon you, Ya Rasulullah, said, this will be sufficient to remove your worries and your sins will be forgiven. SubhanAllah. So sometimes we think we've got so many zaif to read. Which one do we read? How much time do we spend? This hadith of Barakah tells us. But spend the maximum time reciting through the Park by Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as it is a solution to all problems. Then, on the Day of Judgment, a very difficult time. And we need all the help and assistance. And what if that help and assistance comes from the best of creation and the greatest intercessor on the Day of Judgment, Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now, in another hadith of Barakah, Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever recites salat upon me ten times during the day and ten times during the night, will attain my intercession on the day of judgment. Then, you know, we want to cleanse our heart and our soul and our mind and attain spirituality. What the scholars write is one of the perfect and best ways to do this, is to continuously recite through the Park for Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And a beautiful hadith in Mubarakah. Recite Salat upon me in abundance. Undoubtedly, this recitation of Drude Park upon me means purification for you. It cleanses your insides and your outsides, subhanAllah, and you will be able to see the barakats and blessings of it. Then in another hadith in Varka, Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever writes Drude Park upon me in a book, angels will continue to make istighfar for him, ask for forgiveness for him for as long as it remains therein. Now the scholars say a hard back book, if buried, could last hundreds of years. And so for hundreds of years while we're in our grave, or maybe thousands of years by the mercy of Allah, we will continue to get the blessings and the forgiveness du'as of the angels. SubhanAllah. Then, the terrors of the day of judgment, accountability, the bridge of Sirat, all these are very scary things that are about to happen. But things can be made easy by recitation of the Buddha Park. Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O oh people, Undoubtedly, from the terrors of accountability on the day of judgment, the person who will attain the quickest salvation will be the one who has recited Dhruv De Park upon me in abundance. SubhanAllah. Then, recite Dhruv De Park upon me in abundance. Undoubtedly, this recitation of Dhruv De Park is forgiveness for you. Now, who's seen the Mount of Uhud in Medina al Munawwara? It is several kilometers long and wide. Amazing, amazing mountain. Listen to this hadith in Barakah. Whoever recites through the park upon me one time, Allah Azza wa writes the reward of one kiraat for him. And one kiraat is equal to Mount Ahud. SubhanAllah. And then a heartwarming hadith of Mubarak. Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Allah Azza wa has appointed an angel at my Rosai Mubarak who has been given the ability to hear the voices of every creature. And whoever, wherever and whenever recites through the park upon me, that angel presents it in my court, saying, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Fala ibn Fala, so and so, the son of so and so, has recited through the salam upon you. Just Im imagine our name mentioned in the court of Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What an honor, what a privilege, subhanAllah. Then, in another hadith in Barakah, Nabi Akrim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, On the day of judgment, when there's no shade, three people will be under the shade of the arsh of Allah. The first, who relieves the distress and worry of my ummati. The second, the one who revives my sunnah. And the third, the one who recites through the park upon me in abundance. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Then, Akha Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Adorn your gatherings by reciting through the park upon me. Because this recitation of through the park will be light, nur for you on the day of judgment. And then, Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When the day of Thursday approaches, Allah sallallahu sends angels who are papers made of silver and pens made of gold. And they write the names of those who recite through the park upon me in abundance on Thursday and during the night of Friday. Subhanallah, subhanallah. 
And then finally, whoever recites Salat upon me on a Friday, I will intercede for him on the day of judgment. There are so many benefits, so many blessings of reciting Durud al-Pak upon Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We should make this a habit. There are people who recite Durud al-Pak 10,000, 12,000 times a day. They've made it a habit and they're constantly busy in the recitation. Let's be one of those and let's gain the blessings and barakats of Durud al-Pak in this world, in our grave and in the hereafter. Ameen bijahin Nabi Lameen sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Madani Channel We love Madani Channel We love Madani Channel